I'm here to review all this. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now today, I don't know what that was. Now today I am doing another thing that isn't bird related. I am doing a Sukin review, but I do have them wandering around my room at the moment. So I've got Charlie there on my laptop. I've got Emma up there preening. So they're not absent, they're still here. So I've got this massive collection in front of me, which I keep looking at, and I'm ready to just dig in and review some stuff for you guys. If you're interested, stick around. If not, you can leave. Don't forget to like. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Now this is not a promotion in any single way. I'm honestly just super in love with this brand and I wanna share it with the world. So thank you Sukin. If you wanna hit me up though, my DMs are open. Now I love this brand mainly for the fact that it's Australian made. It's all natural ingredients. There's no animal testing and it's also vegan. And it's not overly expensive either. So I'm so in love with this for so many different reasons, but let's go through it. So I'm gonna start off with what I use every single day. Um, it is the oil-free moisturizer. Now I actually got this in a packet of four and it came with these two little tubes and one more. Now this is paraben free and it's got willow herb, eucalyptus, tea tree to improve the appearance of blemishes and to clarify skin. I'm obviously wearing makeup now, but I actually have really blemished skin. I honestly hate my skin so much, but Sukin, makes life a little bit easier for me. I also get lots of blackheads on my chin and my nose, and then I have a really bumpy forehead. And then I also get pimples on my neck. Every time I watch a skincare video, I feel like they just have beautiful skin to begin with. So it's kind of like, you just have great skin. And then to top that off, I'm also a pimple popper. I love popping pimples. <laughs> and it's not good for your skin, I know. So that's part of the reason why my skin's bad. There's not much else to say really. It's a really good moisturizer. It's not oily. It doesn't feel sticky on my face. It feels natural, clean. And you know the ads of skincare and they like go to wash their face and it's all beautiful and there's like leaves everywhere and the water's like coming off really slowly. And you can feel that that looks fresh. This gives me that feeling. <laughs> the second thing that I have and love so dearly, their rose hip oil. Okay. You know what? I can actually say that this works wonders. Now, I'll put this on at nighttime with a really bad breakout. In the morning, I'll wake up and it's not bad anymore. And then I'll apply this in the morning again. I'll apply it the same night. The next day, my skin's almost clear. Like, I wish I was joking and I wish I was just making that up just for like views, but this does wonders. Now it says massage two to three drops into clear damp skin twice daily or when required. Suitable for all skin types. I use more than two to three drops because I'm a rebel. I also don't know how to portion control. Now I have three of their face masks. I'm not obsessed, trust me. And out of all three, I love the detoxifying face mask. As you can see, it's a white clay and I love it. It dries beautifully on my face. It doesn't feel cloggy it doesn't feel too thick and when i wash it off once again it feels fresh and normal to dry skin types north it's not going to focus i'm sorry but it has so many no's right there of what it doesn't have in there which is amazing no silicones no sulfites no mineral oils no harsh detergents no artificial colors the list goes on now the other two facial masks i have the pink clay mask and the coffee and coconut exfoliating mask now, I've only recently just brought this one, so I can't give it too much of a review, other than the fact that it smells so freaking good. So as you can see the bits and pieces in there, it smells honestly like a coffee mousse. Naturally created, all skin types. Wake your skin up with a combination of aloe vera, coconut shell, and locally sourced ground coffee. And then the pink clay mask. Now it's just, oh my God. So it's pink clay. Obviously, I didn't like this too much. I found that it kind of stained my skin a little bit with the pink clay um, and then my face would be even more red than it needs to be. It says gentle clays extract impurities while aloe vera and cucumber nourish delicate skin. It says it is for sensitive skin types. This was my first face mask that I brought from Sukin and then since buying this one, I haven't really gone back. So now I'm going to talk about these two little tubes. Now one is a clearing facial wash. Quince, pomegranate and willow herb work together to purify skin while removing dirt and imperfure. Imp impurities, my god. And then a spot banishing gel, which is blemish prone, doesn't say. Oh, it's the same. Now these were my first Sukin products ever, to be honest, along with the moisturizer. 
If you just put this one on at night on your little dot, I find that the next day it's gone down, especially on blind pimples. I actually have a blind pimple right there <laughs> right now. And yeah, the clearing facial wash is really good for getting makeup off, I find. I don't use these ones as much, considering I've got the exfoliating mask now and the cleansing oil. Now this is part of this Super Greens collection. It is paraben free, suitable for all skin types. It feels so good on the skin. Like it's literally like putting oil on your skin but it's good for you. Obviously there's the massive lifts of nose again. And it says this gentle lightweight cleansing oil melts away makeup and dissolves dirt and oil through a mix of sunflower and grapeseed oil. And then another shower goodie that I use is the body scrub. This is my favorite body scrub to this day. It is purifying body scrub with bamboo and aloe vera. Can that crow shut up? This is my forever body scrub, I think. What are you doing to my hair? She is so cute. What are you doing? So it says it's infused with micro particles of bamboo extract and ground walnut shells to gently exfoliate and leave the skin smooth. I don't know what that was either. I use it every time I get a pimple on my back and the pimple's gone the next day. So this is amazing stuff. I am in love. Now this is coffee and coconut. I am in love with this smell. The smell of this, oh my God, it's literally the same. The coffee collection. I used this before I actually brought this one. With this one, I can just scrub at a pimple and it will go away on my back. Whereas, eh, not so much. This just made me smell really good. This is part of the Super Greens collection, which is the same collection as the cleansing oil and the detoxifying face mask. This is a body contouring cream. Now, I haven't actually tried this much. It seems a little unbelievable. It keeps skin looking smooth and helps reduce the appearance of cellulite with this unique and natural blend of stevia and matte leaves known for their slimming properties. Suitable for all skin types. I have cellulite on my legs, so I'm definitely gonna have to try this out. It smells quite good too. Okay, now that that's all the skincare done, I'm going to be moving on to the body lotion. Coconut and pineapple, and I actually picked this up at a TK Maxx. It smells amazing, as you can imagine coconut and pineapple does. Oh my God. <laughs> Infused with the scent of coconut and pineapple, this lotion uses jojoba, avocado, and rose hip to hydrate the skin. I did actually use this a couple times after my showers. My skin did feel really good afterwards, but um, yeah, I just don't really use this too much because I have another moisturizer that I use, but it smells amazing. I can't fault it. It's good. Now this is almost empty. Hydrating conditioner. I don't use this as much anymore because I obviously have blonde hair now. In my early videos, you do notice that I have brown ombre hair. It was a lot of regrowth, okay? And I was using this constantly. Made my hair feel amazing. But now that I've got blonde hair, I need to use purple shampoo, so I don't use this as often. Sheer butter, coconut, sesame, and olive oils nourish, strengthen, and add shine to dry, damaged hair. So there you go, it smells like coconut and lime. So when I was using this, my hair constantly smelled like this, and it smelled amazing. My last two products are these massive bottles. Now, I haven't actually used this because it's a massive bottle of conditioner. As I said before, I already have products for my hair, so... I don't use this at all, so I've got no idea. I can't really review this, but I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. And so it's aloe vera, horsetail, nettle, and burdock with added rose hip, avocado, jojoba, and sesame oils for hydration. Suitable for normal hair. If you want a natural, cruelty-free, vegan, Australian-made conditioner. And then obviously the purifying shampoo contains a delicate infusion of aloe vera, nettle, horsetail, and burdock to cleanse, nourish, and soften. Can you stop picking my skin? This is why I have bad skin. That's what I thought. I think I found my forever skincare. Like these guys are amazing. I'm super in love with everything they do, what they stand for, and just the products they make. You can actually tell that they're natural, they're beautifully made. I don't know. I'm just super in love with Sukin. So yeah, if you want a vegan, cruelty-free, all natural ingredients, Definitely give Sukun a try. They are amazing and I love them. Now, thank you for sticking around for another non-bird video. I mean, it kind of was. They're here, aren't you, Charlie? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you, you know, got something from this video. If not, I love Sukun. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I will see you guys next Friday. So, ciao for now.